I worked in many places, but the biggest part of my life, I worked for a music club uh, that I started together with my husband. We did it for 35 years here in Eklo. You know, the whole period of organizing concerts was a happy one. I saw such a lot of bands and they could move me nearly to tears. That was very important for me. It's still important. So we're sitting here in my man's man cave. <laughs> it's called the Museum of Pop. We take it not too serious, but nevertheless, it's a part of his life. Instead of traveling ourselves, we wanted to bring the whole world to Eklo. We didn't want to bring the bands that were into the big companies. It's not the big companies who are creating the music. The music comes from the soul of the people. After that 35 years, I really wanted to find out how I could become independent from big companies in the field of food and energy. In the light of the climate emergency, I'm worried about the future of the planet. I think it's very important that we realize that there are solutions like locally based cooperatives for energy. In the energy crisis, we saw energy companies follow the prices of the market and the energy cooperatives didn't they produce and they sell the electricity at the cost with a little surplus for the operating costs. And then in the energy crisis, they did the same. Iclo is known for the place where one of the oldest renewable energy cooperatives started. You can join a citizen cooperative for renewable energy by buying a share. Everybody who has a share has a vote. If you have more shares, you have only one vote, so that's very uh, democratic. The last years in the general meetings, the shareholders vote not to pay dividend, but to keep it in the company, to reinvest it and build new windmills. When a windmill is built with the support of local investors for local profit, people are less against it and it's our windmill, you know, and it's our energy. I feel quite independent, but also connected with others. So one of the things I do is that I volunteer in the local food team, which distributes locally produced organic food, and the farmers and producers receive a fair price. That's very, very important for me. Both the food teams and the energy cooperatives act with principles. And one of the principles is to respect the planet and try to save the planet. In my own, I cannot change the planet. But with a little effort, you have the power. You have, I always say, the power to the people. <laughs>